We have been asked to simplify um, 1 over m squared to the power of 0 for one mark. Okay, anything to the power of 0 equals 1. So this means our final answer is going to be 1. Okay, now you get one mark for this part and one mark for the correct final answer. Part B has asked us to simplify 8 times x minus 4 all over x minus 4 squared for one mark. Okay, we can cancel through by one lot of x minus 4, okay, to leave x minus 4 on our denominator. And this means our final answer will be 8 over x minus 4 like this. This part is worth one mark, and you get one mark for the correct final answer. We have been asked to simplify 3n to the 4 w squared all cubed, okay, for two marks, okay? We're going to use the rule that if we have a, b, c all to the power of x, this is a to the x times b to the x times c to the x, okay? And then there's another rule we'll need, which says if you have a to the x all to the power of y, this equals a to the x, y, like that, okay? So... 3n to the 4 w squared all cubed. This becomes 3 cubed times n to the 4 cubed times w squared cubed. 3 cubed is 27. Now, for this, we're going to apply this rule, which is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12, so n to the 12, times w, 2 times uh, 3 is 6, so it's going to be w uh, to the power of 6. Okay, so combining this, we get 27 um, n to the 12 and w to the 6. And this part is worth two marks. The first mark comes from any two of these three terms being correct. And the second mark comes from a fully correct final answer.